Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. Welcome to the monthly general reading, September 2021 for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, and also for cross watchers. All right, so starting off with this deck to get a feel for the energies. What is going on with Aquarius, please? Intuitive, first card coming out. All right, intuition, following your gut, sensitivity. Not second guessing yourself, Aquarius. Two more, please. All right, traveler. So this could be a few different things. Let me see what else comes out here. Wow, traveler and gypsy soul. Very interesting. All right, so we've got traveler, we've got gypsy soul. So this literally could mean traveling. Um, someone who has a hard time staying in one place or maybe they're trying to experience or you experience certain um, things in your life and it's been hard to settle down. At the bottom, there is shadow king. So for some of you, either you or dealing with another person, there may be somebody who is avoiding settling down or avoiding important conversations, you know, listening to your intuition in regards to this situation, this person with this shadow king energy, like they're trying to work through some of their shadows. So avoidance mode, just picking up on that, but we'll see where this takes us. I'm going to pull one for the main guidance and then three for the situation. And then I'll get into some Oracle cards. All right. Main guidance, please, for Aquarius. What is the main guidance, please, for September along with these cards? All right, we have, yeah, Nine of Swords, Four of Cups. So Nine of Swords is stressing out about a situation, um, overthinking, things maybe aren't where you want them to be or you don't have all the answers. So we have the Nine of Swords here with the Nine of Knives and then we have the Four of Cups. Four of Cups is like a lack of satisfaction or a lack of happiness. Somebody who could also be really um, avoiding emotional conversations or topics, avoiding problems. For others, this is definitely about needing to seek out other emotional possibilities. And maybe for some of you, this does involve moving or traveling or something like that. But I'm going to pull three for the situation. All right, seven of wands. So yeah, that can be about uh, defensive energy. Seven of wands, defenses are up or needing to defend yourself or someone is being defensive. Um, so with this energy coming up, yeah, I'm feeling like there's some walls up here, emotional walls, walls of protection. Nine of Pentacles, and I'm going to take the ones that flipped here. So those want to come out. So these that flipped. Yeah, we've got the Six of Swords here, which is the Six of Knives. We've got Three of Cups. We've got Ace of Skulls, which is the Ace of Pentacles. So Six of Swords definitely could be traveling or moving. Right? We've got that Six of Swords, but if it's not, it is definitely about needing to leave things behind that just are not serving or um, because it is Swords, it is sometimes about the stress that we're causing ourselves from overthinking and that kind of baggage. So definitely baggage and the Three of Cups, Ace of Skulls. So you notice the Three of Cups, you've got three people here. There could have been a third party thing, yeah. But if that does not resonate with you, then maybe this is about honestly needing to have more fun, seek out other emotional possibilities. Because this Four of Cups is definitely a lack of satisfaction and you've got the Three of Cups here. Ace of Skulls starting new. But something that you know you can really work on building. It's an Ace, it's new. It's gonna take work, but 
it is like building, you know, a new life for yourself or something that is definitely going to offer growth. All right, so I'm gonna clarify. I'm gonna take a look at this Four of Cups. Yeah, Ace of Swords. So decisions, <coughs> excuse me. Decisions, um, new ideas, answers and solutions. And for some really this is like, all right, it's time to make a choice. I've gotta do what's best for me. All right, so um, yeah, I'm definitely seeing that kind of energy here. And I want to take a look at this Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Skulls. Ace of Pentacles, please. Interesting. Five of Swords. So there's some kind of conflict about this as well. I mean, Five of Swords, yeah, we have mind games or we have someone who wants to win at all costs. Um, someone who's definitely all up in their ego. This is the ego card. This is what I call the ego card for me. So there could even be a conflict of, you know, starting fresh, starting new. Yeah, there's a lot of confusion here. Seven of Cups, Five of Wands, um, an internal battle or conflicts with somebody else, whatever situation this is, Five of Pentacles, you know, maybe you're fighting making a change for some of you or somebody is. But the Five of Pentacles is definitely feelings of loss, sadness for some. There's that like depression and just needing to make a big change. Um, but follow your intuition. You know, if this resonates with you, let me know. Drop a heart in the comments box or comment box or leave a comment. The lovers is saying you must do what is in alignment with your highest good. That is what will bring you happiness. So following your heart, your intuition is part of that. A blend of these energies, which they show the masculine and the feminine figure. Um, it's a blend of both those energies, knowing when to be receptive, but knowing when to take action. So I definitely feel like for some of you, this could be asking you to stand your ground too. All right, so I'm going to pull some Oracle cards. I've got one from the Halloween Oracle. What else for Aquarius? Okay, so we have spider, community and web weaving. Interesting, so community, um, the people that are surrounding you, the people who either lift you up or drag you down, that's something to look at. Um, connecting with other like-minded people, if you're feeling like you don't have that in your life, then that could be part of needing to make a change. Connected with like-minded pe like people, finding your tribe, but, you know, interesting with the web weaving because this is definitely symbolic of we weave our web of life. That's what the spider is all about. So the web of life and certain experiences that we go through based on some of the decisions that we make. Um, you know, so I think it's asking you to look at what is going to bring you happiness. What can you do to weave your own web of happiness and contentment? So I do feel like for some of you, that's part of this, um, of this card. So definitely if there are things that are holding you back, even if it's your own mindset and fears or somebody around you, um, needing to set boundaries for sure. It's definitely about taking the steps that are needed to make improvements. So forming a strong web of protection even for yourself and a strong foundation. So yeah, I mean, that's that's showing up here in this reading. So I'm gonna pull from Flowers of the Night Oracle. This is a new deck that I just got. What else do we have for Aquarius? This one wanted to come out. Yeah, Awaken, look at that. So you may be awakening to um, new aspects of yourself, who you are, what you want in life now versus what you wanted before. And that four of cups, that lack of satisfaction, it's like 
whatever you've gone through, it made sense before, but now you're awakening to new possibilities and whatever worked for you before, it feels like something is not working anymore. It's not working the way that it was. So waking up to your true potential, you know, being ready, um, reaching for higher levels. And for some of you, this new knowledge and wisdom that you really have gained through these experiences you've gone through. So I'm going to close this reading up with three cards from this love deck since this is general. What other guidance, please, for Aquarius? If there is love. Keys on a ring, yeah, so there's options here. So options, decision, unconventional, string along, one night stand. Um, all right, two more. Lightning, yeah, so sudden changes, shocking news, surprise, epiphanies is part of this, upheaval, transformation. So take the key words that resonate with you. For some of you, I'm definitely, <laughs> there's an awakening happening. It came out here and it's here. Acts, yeah, breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment and abandonment. So for some of you, definitely stopping the pattern. But um, I do feel like with these two cards, like you're awakening to the potential that you have and the potential to weave the webs or in other words, create the life that you really truly desire. I hope that you guys have an amazing month ahead. Again, if this resonates with you, let me know. Leave a comment, drop a heart. If you're interested in any of my services or you wanna follow me on Facebook or Instagram, all that information is posted in the description box below. Take care.